Hey guys, welcome to another episode of California Ant Keeper. So one morning I took a walk around my backyard to see how many species of ants I could spot, but what I wasn't expecting was the major territorial war going on. My backyard has become a giant war zone of ants trying to fight for territory and survive. A massive Solenopsis invicta fire ant colony has appeared in the middle of my lawn out of nowhere it seems. This is a highly invasive species that will wipe out all the colonies in my backyard. But only a few feet away is another invasive species of Argentine ants. Both of these species are not native to California and they originated in Argentina. And then on the left hand side you can see that tiny rover ant going up the wall. It's like a quarter of the size of the Argentine ant. I worry mostly about the Argentine ants because they have gotten into my setups in the garage in the past and killed a couple of my colonies. Alright, let's take a look at these tiny rover ants. These things have gotten into my setups before in the past too, but they just go in for the nectar. These ants seem to keep to themselves and not really bother any of the other colonies in the backyard, and the other colonies don't really seem to notice them either. I originally wanted to keep these ants until I saw them break in through the top of a mini hearth. That's when I realized I'll never keep an ant that is this small. It's just too much work. Another species I came across in my backyard which I was really surprised was this Fidoli species. I've never seen them in my backyard before. So I decided to give all the colonies in my backyard a liquid feeder full of nectar just to see what happened. And the Solenopsis invicta is already stealing it from the Fidoli. I'm guessing this Fidoli colony is probably in its first year because it doesn't look like it has very many workers. And the entrance to the nest took me forever to find. But it seems these Fidoli are a lot more interested in excavating their nest right now other than just trying to find the nectar. And looks like an Argentine ant is also stealing some of their nectar. And here's the one I gave to the Argentine ants. I was expecting the Argentine ants to be swarming this a lot more. So they must have a decent source of sugar somewhere in the backyard. But you can see her gaster fill up full of nectar. And this is about an hour after I put it right next to their trail. You can see they're, they're starting to swarm it, but still not so much. And then I pulled back the grass and I realized they had a satellite nest right there. Only about a foot and a half away from the fire ant nest. Okay, at this point, I realized I had to make these two colonies try to wipe each other out, or at least put down their numbers. But I gotta make sure collateral damage like this little spider doesn't get involved. So I waited for the little jumping spider to go away, and then I poked the fire ant nest right next to where it met up with the Argentine nest. And the war began. Ants from both different species started running in all different directions, some attacking each other and some running. The Argentines moving in their trail along the brick kept their trail going as the fight ensued. Then the brutal jungle warfare began as the Argentines started pushing the fire ants further back and back through the dense grass towards their main hill. I then realized that another jumping spider has found himself at the wrong place at the wrong time. Hopefully he gets out alright. Eventually the Argentine ants push the fire ants back. And now the Argentine ants occupy a part of the fire ant nest. Alright, as this battle finishes up, I'm going to go take a look at the other liquid feeders to see if any of the other ants are using them. And it seems like the rover ants are drinking out of it one at a time. This kind of shocked me because I know these guys really love sugar. But one would come and one would go. And then I noticed this Fidoli major... He doesn't look so graceful. Or maybe something could be wrong with him. Maybe he's hurt. This one seems fine. It's not stumbling around or acting all crazy. The Fidoli workers seem pretty far spread out at this time of day. And a rover actually took some of their liquid. You can see its butt's all red right now. And then I noticed it. The Fidoli... We're at war with each other. And the small worker Fidoli, they had no chance against the Majors. The Majors were grabbing the workers and incapacitating them almost instantly. Now this war kind of made me sad because I was really happy when I noticed I had Fidoli in my backyard. But now they're killing each other. 
This battle lasted about a half hour before the Fidoli stopped trying to fight each other and they went their own way and started foraging again and even using the nectar feeder. At this time, the Argentine fire ant battle is just about over and they kind of stopped fighting each other, so now it's time to intervene. So I took the feeder that had all the Argentine ants and put it right in the middle of the fire ant hill. An hour later, the Argentines were in full invasion mode, taking out any fire ants that came close to the feeder and going directly into the nest. These guys have no fear. My plan worked. The death toll is rising and both invasive colonies are in one hill at the same time. So now it's time to put an end to this war in the most glorious, coolest way possible. Hey, little ant keeper. What? I think we should set the fire ants on fire. What do you think? That's a good idea. So my daughter, the little ant keeper, grabbed a bottle of isopropyl rubbing alcohol and poured it all over the hill. And then we lit it on fire. I don't suggest burning every fire ant hill that you see, but this fire ant hill was dangerous to my daughter and my dogs that are in the backyard. If any one of them were to step on it, they would be instantly swarmed and it would not be good. The next day there were very few workers, but thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.